Hey folks, um, uh, as always, Richard Nikolai, uh, freetheanimal.com. Um, I just had an inkling to make a video. I had thought about it when I was out and about earlier in the evening. I, I actually attended two birthday parties. Food at both of them. Um, and, uh, and, and, and the first one, Nita, my friend, for like a year and a half, she, it was her 50th birthday party. She runs a bar called Roxanne here in Rawai. Tons of, uh, tons of expats I've met over the last year and a half, so it was kind of a great gathering. And there was live music, which was pretty cool. They were they were do they had their own, their their original original stuff and they had cool covers uh, mostly singer songwriter type covers right and in, with embellishments so I had a great time tonight it's it's one thirty no one twenty here in the uh, evening um, you know what what precipitated this video is that. Uh, you know, I was just, I wasn't ready to go to sleep yet, and then I'm like, I'm doing YouTube, and you know how you can, YouTube can be on autoplay, and I get this um, uh, thing pop up uh, from Fox News, and uh, it's like, just, it's like, just so much more political bullshit, like, oh, Joe Biden did this, <laughs> fuck off, who cares, right, he's, you know, I mean, he's a senile, literally a senile guy who can't find his way to the men's room. <laughs> I mean, that, that is the President of the United States, right? I mean, it's not even a question that he'll run in 20, uh, 2024 again. And he's illegitimate in the first place because Donald Trump won that election. Uh, it was completely fraudulent. I said that. It was completely fraudulent. And everybody in the legal system was asleep at the wheel because they didn't want to deal with that issue because there are a bunch of fucking cunts. All of them. Including the Supreme Court of the United States. Anyway. <laughs> There, I have to, I have to give a rant. But what I want to talk about today is like eating, uh, actually, because I have a, I don't know if it's a problem or an issue or a good thing. I really don't. Um, I don't have much desire for food anymore. I don't know why that is. Um, it's, uh, back in, uh, back in, um, I guess March of 2021, so it's a year and a half ago now, uh, I was at a, um, a bar in, uh, in, here in Hawaii, and, um, someone, two people, two people, young 20-somethings, a, a woman and a man, they're, they're, they were here for, uh, they're here training for, uh, you know, Thai boxing, Muay Thai, call it, right? Um, both very lean and fit, and the guy was a big guy. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm at a bar and I'm bantering with the girls. Now, these kids, weren't even born when I began bantering with bar girls. My first was 1982. That's how long? Like 30 years ago. Yeah, 30 years ago, I guess. 82, 82, 92, 2002, 2012, yeah. Uh, 40 years, 40 years. I was on my midshipman cruise in uh, Pusan, Korea from Oregon State University. And that's when I 
started battering with my first Asian bar girl. And I took her home and she fucked me. So, 40 years and then these two 20-somethings, you know, took umbrage with how I was bantering with the bar girls, like I don't know how to do it, I was being disrespectful or whatever, right? So there is, uh, I don't know if you, you may not have seen the video, but there's a CCTV video from the Thai uh, municipality uh, showing, I, I'm 60 years old, I have my hands on the motorbike, and these two people come up and cold cock me, and uh, and the 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 once you know she hit me on uh, straight in the face, uh, which was like a sting that would have been no problem, but that that gives the that no, so when she did that, that gives the man license, and he laid into me. I mean, like from the side. So I'm hands on the motorbike, right? Don't even see it coming, and he pounds me in the uh, in the right jaw. Um, I, I I I went cold, knocked out with a second punch. But he kept at it. He tried to hold my shirt, but I I was wearing a shirt like this, a, like a light linen shirt, and my short sh my shirt tore. And so I went over, or he just, I don't know how long he would have kept at it, the big man. Um, and, the, and then the CCTV footage shows him like kicking me. As the bike falls, my motorbike falls over and I'm out there and like ripping my shirt, like pulling me and then they walk off and you know, people come down to my aid. Um, and, uh, and then, you know, he's persuaded to come back to see that, I, that he didn't kill me, I suppose. I don't know. Um, but uh, uh, I got, you know, it's not, Thailand is not like America. I got swift justice within a week via the Thai police. And uh, basically, they chased him out of the country and it cost him 3,000 bucks to me. Um, and, and his, all of his, all of his tatted friends, they're all tatted. They all have tattoos all over their bodies, right? And so all of his friends have to come down and pull money out of their ATMs to pay off his debt. Um, now, so I have a blog post about it from way back and, and uh, perhaps I'll put it in the, uh, in the description or you can search for it, but uh, um, it's not embarrassing to me. It's, um, but you know what? It, it, uh, it, it caused harm. Um, so, well, at first, you know, I mean, at first it's just acute harm and that heals, right? The problem is, is, is my jaw has never been the same. And then I lost, so for instance, if I eat food, I, if, if I chew on that side, the right side, it's like, I don't feel my teeth, if you know what I mean, right? So uh, they don't feel like my teeth. And I've had, luckily it's on the left side, I've had two crowns in my life. So the first one, has all of the nerves still there, but the, the dentist did a crown, right? It took five months before I, for it felt like that was a tooth, and now I, so now I don't even feel, of course it seems like real. Uh, but, uh, about six months before I left the USA in 2019, I had another one, what happened is I, I had a big chip, and I let it go, I didn't, pay any attention and uh, I still start until it began hurting and uh, I went in there he's like oh you let it go and now the the root is is rotted 
So they had to do a, uh, a root canal and they sent me to a guy who does only root canals. I couldn't believe how long it take and take, took and how thorough it was. And the guy says, the guy says, I do this all the time and you have to get like every little tiny bit out of all of the canals and every, everything in the, in the whole route or else it will rot and it will ruin the work. So he did that and then went back to the other guy who did a crown on it. And uh, that, that um, has been, I had zero problem with that, never did. But, but uh, and, and st I don't have any issues on the right side with the teeth. They, they just seem out of alignment or something. Like I don't have the bite that I had before that lights up when you chew, right? So I don't like to chew food on them. But there's another issue, and that is that since then, I have almost no uh, desire or taste for food. That's why I find it so easy to fast, and I've lost a lot of weight, um, is that just almost nothing. I, I get very hungry, but then I eat and it's like, like I hate all food now. All food. It's weird, right? I, you know, I have a couple things. Um, I hear, I just, I just uh, cook up some over easy eggs and eat them in a bowl, uh, you know, um, and, and I can do really nice over easy. So it's like, um, it's like an egg with a, a warm yolk thing. I like that. I have a good taste for that. Ice cream. I have, there's a company here that does ice cream. Um, now and then, I'll get hungry enough where I like a, uh, um, a uh, like a, a chicken steak or a pork steak or something like that. But it's just like, I'm never clamoring for it. It's like I have to get really hungry. Um, what else? Oh, um, fried rice. I like fried rice. Also, uh, some some of the soups, like a pork soup or chicken soup here. Sorry. And um, it's very strange to me. Um, like tonight, I went to two birthday parties tonight. Two friends, I went to two birthday parties. And uh, they had a spread of food, a lot of stuff, like chicken wings, pork, uh, one place had tacos, uh, spaghetti, um, and everything. Did you know, you know, uh, so I tried everything. I was like, sucks. I couldn't even finish, right? The tacos. It's like, doesn't taste good to me. Spaghetti doesn't taste good to me. Spaghetti with meat, you know, basically spaghetti with meat doesn't taste good to me, right? Chicken, I had one at one place. Okay, so, um, yeah battery ran out so there's a cut here so I was talking about um, being at a couple birthday parties today I just didn't like the food well the second one I went to um, they had fried rice uh, you know the Thais do very light fried rice it's not uh, oily at all um, so it's something I like uh, and they also had a plate of watermelon, which I love. So it's very interesting. So like, am I turning into a carboholic? You know, I don't like food enough at all uh, to know. Um, uh, you know, here at home, I mean, I pretty much only eat eggs. Uh, and that I can do. Uh, but, um, man, it's very weird 
to be in a situation where you just don't like food, where eating becomes like an imposition. You know, am I getting anorexic? I don't think so, because it's not driven by uh, by uh, any sort of uh, um, what uh, psychological. Um, Thing where you think you're too fat. No, you know, I could stand and still lose a few. I just don't understand why I don't like food anymore. I, I really do not like food. Eating is, is, it's like, I dread eating. I really do. <laughs> What's going on? I have no idea. Um, and I don't know whether it stemmed from that uh, thing or not, or if it's something since then, or it's simply my uh, general, I, I, I'm dis I dislike Thai food more and more and more, right? It, it all takes, they use so much of the same spices, herbs and spices and everything. Uh, I, 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 I like the Thai soups like a, a good chicken soup or a pork soup. Uh, I eat that. I eat those a lot because also uh, I, I think, you know, um, um, having the broth is good nutrition, things like that. Um, but so much of it, so much of anything. And, and um, you know, Rawai is very Euro-based. So they try to do these like American foods, like say dogs and burgers, dogs, burgers. Oh, the, the pizza is good here. The pizza is very good. The Italians, thank you Italians, right? They have wood-fired pizza. Yeah, um, so that, and that's one thing I do enjoy from time to time. Um, but again, it's card based, right? So what's going on there? Right, um, there's there's a couple places who have good chunks of meat, uh, like pork or chicken, and uh, but but here the problem is when I go there, is I have to ask them no salt, because everything tastes like a salt lick to me, right? When it's meat, right? Steak, chicken, pork, right? It's like, what did you do? Drown it in salt? It's like awful, I can't eat it. Um, so I have to ask for no salt. And um, Jesus Christ, uh, it's it's awful. It's awful. <laughs> Eating is now awful. I, you know, maybe I'm lucky. I think I probably have a washboard in about six months or so. Uh, um, <laughs> what else can I say about this? But, you know, any thoughts from you out there? Um, have you ever experienced something like this where you just stop having a desire for food? Where eating becomes a chore, which like, like I can be screaming hungry and I'm like, eh, i go a few more hours, right? So there's very few things that I like and have a, a desire for when I'm hungry, it's like, you know, I get hungry and I start thinking, okay, what can I eat? Yeah, that doesn't sound good, that doesn't sound good, that doesn't sound good, that doesn't sound good. I mean, over and over and over again. Um, I don't know whether that's good or bad. Maybe it's good. We'll see how it works out. Uh, but I am, I just in a, in, food doldrums. I don't really like anything. <laughs> Go figure. Well, that's a weird one, isn't it? So, um, so I literally, I have no, no, no potential for weight gain as, as long as this holds out because I'm still dropping weight. So, uh, um, I, Perhaps that's good. Perhaps my body is resetting. Perhaps that the food I've eaten over the last two and a half years here in Thailand have shifted me more to uh, to an Asian style diet. You know, I like 
I like the fried rice. I like the noodles with vegetables sometimes, like pad thai is classic Thai uh, dish. Um, thai, thai food is typically very low, very uh, low energy density. So it's hot, it's good in nutrition because it has a variety of things, but not a ton of calories. Uh, so when Thai people um, don't uh, screw around with all the uh, all the all the uh, processed shit that they want them to eat now. All the the Chinese Chinese in league with the Thai governments uh, want want Thais to eat processed food, processed food, processed food. Seven uh, Elevens are ubiquitous, and the other outlets are ubiquitous. They're squeezing out. The, the small folks who actually do genuine food um, because they're a bunch of evil fucks, all of them, uh, lining their own pockets at the expense of the Thai people. Uh, so uh, Thai people are getting fatter and fatter and fatter just like everywhere else in the world. When I was here in the 80s, uh, there's no such thing as a th fat Thai person. No such thing. Right? Unheard of. You never saw one. In fact, you would be more inclined to think they were a little bit uh, underweight. Right? All changed now because um, the Thai government is completely corrupt and in league with all the rich Chinese who own here, stuff here, and want them to invest more and buy more and and build more businesses and it's all about making Thai people fat and unhealthy. Fuck you. Fuck you. Bunch of evil fucks. And uh, anyway, so there I rant again. I, I guess I finish off with a rant. Um, anyway, so that was just about me, but um, you know, I don't do the oh my Pretty much my only indulgence is there's an English company that does an ice cream here. It's rather, it's rather like Haagen -Dazs. Um, and they have a uh, a dark chocolate with chocolate chunks, and that I get behind, right? So, <laughs> and the occasional Coke and everything. So I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of Look, I'm losing weight, and yet I probably eat more carbohydrate than I ever have in my life, or at least in the last 10 or 15 years. But gotta eat something, um, and uh, so <laughs> I'm just giving it to you like it is. All right, so uh, maybe I didn't cover everything, but that's it for tonight, and uh, it is now. <coughs> 2.15 in the morning, I think I will hit the bed. All right, bye-bye.